Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to explore how you can create this super simple contact form so when user clicks contact me you can see that all of this information jumps to the top and organizes in this manner this x pops out of nowhere we have email and a message and obviously you can add as many fields as you want and this changes to send message if they choose to abandon this for whatever reason they can click the x to close it and it's going to go back to the original position x is going to disappear and this is going to turn to contact me so let's get started Alright, so let's get started and to get started I have this artboard at 800 by 800 You can obviously use any size you want. To get started I will use my ellipse tool and I can create it to something like 120 with 120. I can give it this color just so that I can see where uh, should I put my image and let me position it to the center. I will rename it to avatar like so. And I will also drag and drop an image from my computer inside. You can use plugins if you want to, but because I have these images, it's much easier for me to just drag and drop them inside. I will use a shadow of 5, 5 and 10. If you think this is too, uh, too bright or too dark, however, you can lower this opacity down if you want to. So now that that's completed, we can get started with the text and I can put a name inside, for example, Michael Adams like this make sure it's center aligned and I will use let's see some other text perhaps poppins which is a free Google font you can find it online 24 and I will also leave the link to the font um, in the description of this video if you don't like this color if you think it's too dark perhaps we can use this one and let's position it to something like 20 i think it's going to work fine hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i will type in ui designer you can obviously use anything you want you can use ux designer or whatever else you want i will lower this down to 16 for example like this press enter position it to the center and now i can get started with my label so for my label, I can use a rectangle tool and create something like 166 with 51. It's going to work fine. Click right here, drag it inside, and I will use something purplish. So maybe this color, it's going to work fine. Double click right here, type in label, position it behind UI designer, position all of this down and organize it just a little bit. Select these two, click right here, then right here to position it in the center. I'll choose my text, click and make sure it's white. Now I'll select both of these and rename it label. And now I can duplicate that, position it down just a little bit and then I can rename this to BTN for my button. And for my button itself, let's see, I can open this up, rename it to BTN. And for the dimensions, let's use something larger. So 418 with 80 like this and for the text itself let's see maybe we can bring it back so poppins and 24 so it's going to be the same as this one and for the corner radius simply bring it in just to make it like this for the color let's use something bluish so let's go with for example this blue color and once again select these two make sure that they are in the center select your button position it to the center like this I'll position this to be 40, like so. So if you hold your Alt key and hover, you can simply see the distances between your elements. So now we have 20, we have 20, and that's basically it for this state. You can now obviously go ahead and start organizing things, but before we do, I really like to uh, create multiple states. So let's go ahead and create finished product and then we can go back to uh, reorganizing our elements like this so to get started i will hold my shift key position this to the left make sure these two are aligned in the center like this one two three four or perhaps two maybe three however you want i'll select all of them move them up move this down just to give myself a little bit more space for the elements now for the elements themselves, let's see, um, I can duplicate my button and call it, for example, input or email. 
and I'll move this up just a little bit. Let's see to the image, one, two, three, four, perhaps like that. I can jump inside, bring this out or even easier. I can simply go right here, type in 10. I will change the color. So perhaps I can go with really light gray, something like this. I think it works fine for the text. Make sure it's left aligned. I'll choose this color and then go a little bit lighter. So perhaps something like this works fine. Position it to be at 40 from uh, my left edge and rename it email. Instead of BTN, I will call this input like this and I will duplicate it, position it to be at 20 and then simply extend it down for my message. And let's see if we jump in right here, we see it's at 20. So we'll do the same for this. So once again, alt, and you can see it's at 20. And this is at, let's give it a round number. So it's easier to understand and to remember at 270. So this is our message, like so. And this is going to be, for example, your message, like this. And this is going to be your email. Now that that's completed and that we have our complete form, simply group all of these elements, call it contact form. And I'll make sure it's in the center, both like this as well as like this. But I will move this. I think 40 is just a bit much. Perhaps 20 works fine. Now I can simply go ahead and add this uh, as my components. I can click right here, add this color and then right click edit. I'll just use something a little bit lighter for both of them. So for example, something like this, I think it's work. Uh, it's working a little bit better. Now for our contact form, this is our final state basically. So we can once again position it in the center. Just remember that this is 270 in height because we are going to edit it a bit later. One final thing which is left for us to do is to create that X. So let's go with something simple like 50 with 10 and corner radius. You can bring it all in if you want to. I'm going to remove the border and we can use this color or you can go even a bit darker. So let's see, we can apply this color, right click, edit, and simply go just a tad down. I think this is going to work just fine, but let's see. And perhaps I can even copy one of my colors I have previously selected. Yeah, that works fine. Now for our clothes, I can simply uh, hit Control D to duplicate this one move it like this. I still don't like this color. Sorry that I keep jumping left and right. I think this works a little bit better. Now that we have created these two, you can give them names if you want to. I'm not going to bother. I'm simply going to call it close and put this close inside of your contact form. You can flip it like this, position it to the edges of your artboard like this position at 40 from uh, right edge as well as the top edge. And that's basically it. So this is now our contact form. I can hold control D to duplicate it. And this is going to be our end state. Basically, this is going to be our starting or first state. So in our first state, what we can do is we can move this down a little bit and hit zero on our keyboard two times to lower the opacity down, or you can simply click right here. Then what we can do is simply uh, use these. So I'll nudge them like this. So once again, uh, just remember this is 270 in height. Mm -hmm. And I can also position this to be here. Then what I can do is simply position this to go all the way up. This will go all the way down. And one more thing I forgot to do is move the button on top of these. So they will slide uh, under our button. Simply click right here and do the same because they need to be the same in order for everything to work. So we can go back and what we can do here is bring it back to like it was. So make sure it's at uh, 20 or 40, for example. Make sure that this is in the center and this is in the center like so. So everything fits as it should. This is at 20. Just remember this is at 20. 
or at 40. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep it at 20. And one final thing, I will put both of these here and make sure that I put these in the center like this. So they will go from the center. I will push email and message all the way down to here and hit zero two times on my keyboard, same like I did with the close. So now it goes uh, dead in the center and all of these are uh, lowered in opacity. This is uh, obviously positioned right here. So what we can do is actually create our uh, component or we can actually work from here. So if you want, and if you want to edit this later, you can create a component, it's much simpler. Simply create your form, hit Control K like this, create component and then add another state. So new state is going to be default. So from here, this is going to be clicked, for example, or however you want. But in our case, because we just have these two R ports, it's much simpler to do things like this. So from here, we're going to type in send message or contact me. And here we are going to type in send message like this. Now that we've done that, we can move on to prototype. You can simply click right here, drag and drop it, tap. We're going to use auto uh, animate, is in out and 0 0.8 seconds. I think it's going to work just fine. As for the close, you can click right here, drag and drop, use the same settings, click right here, then right here. And if I bring it in and enlarge it, you can see what it does. So basically it reveals these two. So your email and message from the bottom, this changes from contact me to send message. And basically we have this close right here, click on it and everything goes back into position. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you understand how simple and easy this is to create. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation, and more. So if you don't want to miss all of this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.